Mr. Yes, do you agree with Bono when he says that U2's policy on taxation is, is in line with Irish government policy and it's all about tax competitiveness and seeing where you can get the best rates and companies move around the world and so on and so forth and there's another company or do you think U2, Bono as a, as a band and an individual who trade off their Irishness should be paying their taxes here? Well, I'm not going to deal with uh, tax issues here. We're dealing with the referendum here. But, I mean, suffice it to say that Ireland has a transparent tax code that applies universally uh, and it, has, it is kosher in terms of the way it's structured. But today we're dealing with the referendum. And sure, the issue. look, and I'm asking you about, I mean, you're the Minister of Job. It's obviously an important issue to have uh, Irish companies paying the tax within this, this, uh, within this country. I mean, when you have the, the Minister for Finance saying the most important thing that happened to happen this year's budget is we, we achieve a, a primary surplus. What do you think about a, a, an organisation like that that trades off its Irishness paying its taxes in the Netherlands and in the Dutch and But they're not going to, to comment on individual uh, companies or their tax affairs. Uh, as I said, we have a tax code that is transparent, uh, that people know it is uh, clear and statute-based, uh, and that is the tax code that we have had in place over many years. We have 150,000 people employed in companies who are overseas owned who use Ireland as a, a location and we have many attractions uh, and I think our code is very clear and transparent and we uh, are, are very committed to the approach we take on tax. Bono well, says that he's in sync with the Sorry, Irish lad, government on tax. On so do you endorse, do you I think endorse I've answered, I've answered the phenomenon on this and I think this we're discussing here today are the last two days of our referendum. Uh, if you want to put in uh, questions Sure. Mr. Shatter, can I ask you for your thoughts on Arthur's Day, the drinks industry today saying that it's Sorry, vital for the trade. The Sorry, what do you make don't of turn it? up at a press conference if you're not going to take questions. Okay? She's asking a question. You know what asking a question. The drinks industry saying it's vital for the trade, days like Arthur's Day. A lot of people calling for it to be boycotted. What do you make of the whole thing? I'm not going to comment on that issue today. Minister, do you, do, you, do you have any concerns about the amount of public disorder that it creates uh, I, I on a particular Friday that is elevated compared to other days? I have concerns for no one to ensure that these two very important referendums generate support from the general public. I have concerns that people engage and understand the importance of the referendums in reforming our court system and ensuring that we have a legislative system that is sufficient and works well. And I'm very anxious that we get that message out. Uh, I'm very anxious that we have the maximum people voting uh, on the day when the referendum takes place. I'm very happy to address it other issues have an obligation. Mr. Can I ask you about the jobs announced today, please? 